<sighs> oh guys. <laughs> um, I really had a loss at the what kind of videos to make. I'll be honest with you, the last few little few days, kind of, kind of in limbo <laughs> for video ideas. Um, still waiting on uh, parts for the crossband repeater, that uh, relay controller. But uh, unfortunately, our local uh, um, Canada Post has decided to go on strike along with pretty much the rest of the country. <laughs> so yeah, the mail, the mail is going to be on hold, unfortunately, until we figure that out. But we will keep checking the mail. Anyway, yeah, never know. So anyways, I just figured um, tonight, uh, I figured to do a... A simple video, I suppose. Uh, basically, on low power dummy loads, I guess you want to call it. Well, that's, that's exactly what it is, I suppose. Dummy loads. Um, recently, I scrapped a power supply and I got this little resistor. It's a 5 watt, 51 ohm resistor. Uh, yes, all radios run on 50 ohms. But I'm sure one ohm ain't going to kill it. So we got ourselves a 5 watt 51 ohm resistor here. Which would be dandy for a little uh, low power um, dummy load. For such radios as the Chicken Man's. That one there. <laughs> so a little 5 watt dummy load would be perfect for an AM CB radio. But anyway, so... I think we're putting that inside this case. Uh, Brad gave me this one along with the black one that I built a preamp in. Still got that there. I'm waiting for Brad to pick it up. But uh, in any event, um, I was going to build a preamp into this one, but the transformer that was in this one, which is this one here, is 26 volts. And by the time I get that through a voltage rectifier, through a diode, uh, we're up from 26, then we're up to about 30 volts. Run it through a capacitor, and yeah, it's run it down through a voltage regulator. Yeah, we can get it down. I figured I'd save this transformer. Well, uh, I'm sure it's going to work on another project. I will use it for another project. I never throw away transformers. <laughs> These guys always come in handy. So we'll just uh, place him up here in safekeeping. So. Basically, I can make a dummy load into this case. Um, so that's what I was planning on doing tonight. Uh, it's getting late now, I'm getting kind of tired, so I think we'll save this one for tomorrow night. Tomorrow's Friday, so we'll do a little project tomorrow evening. We'll build ourselves a little dummy load. A little 5 watt, 51 ohm dummy load. But tonight, tonight, I figured, well, since we're on the topic of dummy loads, now this is a commercial grade 75 ohm half watt dummy load and um, I figured you know something what I would do is show you um, how easy it is to make a dummy load for your radio it's quite easy as long as it's 50 ohms 50, 50 well I'm gonna go 51 I don't give a shit if it's loud or not we're going 50 I got 51 so yeah, this one's gonna be 51 ohms. <laughs> this is this is what the resistor is. That's we're going with 51 ohm, five watt. This one is 75 ohm, half watt. Um, so basically, what goes on with your wattage, the size of your resistor dictates the wattage it's able to dissipate from your radio. So if you got a 10 watt radio, then you want a resistor that can dissipate at least 15 watts. Or if you got a 100 watt radio, you want one, you want a resistor or a resistor bank that's capable of 150 watts. You always want to have wattage higher than what you're planning on putting into it. That way you don't burn the shit out of it and burn it up, basically. So, yeah, we want to keep that in mind. So this one's 75 ohm, half watt. And we're going to pull this one apart and we're going to show you how simple a commercial type dummy load is. And how you can practically... Uh, put a regular resistor inside a PL259 and have it as your own dummy load. Very simple. So we're going to very easily, simply 
disassemble this contraption here. And I'm going to show you how to easily make a dummy load for a radio. Very simple. After actually, after you see this, <laughs> this is too simple. But anyways, let's uh, let's take her apart until I show you what's going on. So yeah, got a couple of viewers out there. Uh, one of them says they can watch my videos all night long. <laughs> Well, I got like 410 videos or something, so knock yourself out. <laughs> Anyways, so let's uh, pull this off. First off, we got this red cap. It just comes off. We can take the ring off the uh, off this connector. Unscrew it. Batman. <laughs> anyway, so. All this is, is just a regular PL259. There's nothing fancy about it. Nothing fancy at all. But what is cool about it, to make this a dummy load, if you look down there, down there, you see down there, there's a resistor down there. Mm-hmm. Yep, there's a resistor down there. That is a 75 ohm half watt resistor. Hence why it's 75 ohm, half watt. <laughs> because the resistor is 75 ohm and it's half watt. So, yeah, it's as simple as it is. You take your, uh, if you want to convert this to a 50 ohm dummy load, you take your resistor, solder one side of your resistor to the center pin of your conductor, or your connector, and the other end of your uh, uh, resistor, which is solder under the inside of the barrel. So, inside of the chassis of the connector. That's it. And that is your dummy load. <laughs> Quite easy. So, yeah. So, if you got yourself a nice uh, 50 ohm resistor, 5 watts, 1 watt, 2 watts, whatever, you can fit inside of a connector, go for it. Then you got yourself a dummy load. A dummy load in a connector. <laughs> Easy. Anyways, this is a very stupid video I know, but hey. Sometimes stupid is good. <laughs> Anyways, take it easy, boys. All the best. Oh yes. Before I go, uh, you're probably wondering what I was planning on doing with this resistor. So let's get rid of this. And basically what I'm planning on doing is taking this here connector, either this one or a B and C. Probably going to stop her here. Or here, or here, probably here is where I'm planning on putting it. I'll set the hole a little bit bigger. And on the inside, basically what's going to happen is have two pieces of um, stiff copper wire. One, one wire is going to connect to the center of the connector. It'll solder to one pin on this resistor. And then the other side of this resistor would then solder to the case. Which would then be my 51 ohm, a 5 watt, dummy load. And uh, if you wanted to make more wattage, you just add more of these critters. And yeah, 5 watt, 10 watt, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Keep multiplying, yeah. And you get more wattage. So yeah, more resistors, more wattage. Anyways, take it easy. Hope you enjoyed the video. As foolish what it is, but hey, it's a video. Anyway, guys, take it easy. Radio 63. Out. Adios.